Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're actually here in the old world today, and I want to take care of something real quick. This is our squid farm, uh, and it really doesn't work all that well. Um, basically, what's going on... It's, I may actually jump into spectator mode so I can show you this. Uh, but basically, we've got a squid farm here. There's a collection system. It totally works. The collection system is fine. Um, but the problem is that the water... You know what? Here, let me just demonstrate for you what's going on. So basically, we have this squid farm. And this water comes, and this whole thing is filled with water. After some time passes and the water drains, the, uh, the dispensers fire again and water floods the thing. The idea is that squid will spawn, the whole thing will drain, and it'll all be good. And you can see some ink going up there. The problem is that I don't know if it was a change with the water mechanics or what, but before this thing can, like, fully drain... And now, now it wants to work. Why... Why, um... Now it wants to work? I'm so confused. <laughs> I was here just a couple days ago and it totally wasn't working. Maybe, uh, maybe they updated something in the snapshot? I don't know. Either way, um, let's sleep real quick. I'm gonna make a minor change to this. And it's gonna, it's gonna make it a little bit, uh, less efficient, but it should mean that we get more ink sacks, uh, as this, like, does its thing. Or whatever. So, let's just kind of pop over here real quick. And then I'm gonna break... Just enough here for, like, a little staircase down. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, um, actually, let's bust out that. And that as well. There we go. And then, temporarily, I'm gonna break that. So... This should not have any redstone now, because it'll power this but there's no dust here so when that thing fires nothing should happen okay so this thing is now completely and totally empty which is what we want um let me grab some stone i'm just gonna grab a few stacks there we go and we're just gonna kind of pillar mm, just kind of work our way down to about here that should be fine And I'll just build a little platform across. And basically, well, hmm. See, this is done in such a way right now that this whole thing will fill up. And really, I th think what I would want to do... This is, like, not at all optimized. What we would want to do instead is have, like, water pillars that go down. Tell you what. Why don't we do this? I'm going to AFK at this thing for a little bit. We'll see how it works, and then we'll go from there, because maybe it was broken and now it works again, and I don't need to do anything with this. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure. So before I go changing a bunch of stuff, why don't we make sure that it's actually broken and needs to be fixed, <laughs> and then if it needs to be fixed, we will do so. I think that's a much better plan. Um, so let's just come over here. This will go back like so. And I'm going to take this stuff out. So there's no squid ink in here right now. Let me fly up. Ah, I was going to say, there's an AFK platform around here somewhere. And I'm just going to AFK right here. And I will basically hang out, wait for that thing to work. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, I am back. I've been AFK for a few minutes, not for very long. And it looks like this is totally working. So I don't know why this wasn't working before. I must have been in a previous snapshot and like something broke 
and then they fixed it or something. I, I don't know. Either way, it's, this farm is totally working now. It, it, this is fine. Because, uh, I mean, we had a little over half a stack of ink, and I, I'm not exaggerating when I said I was only AFK for a few minutes. Maybe, like, five minutes tops. Um, probably less than that. But anyway... I do need a fair amount of ink, because if we're going to keep building in our current kingdom, uh, we need prismarine, and the dark prismarine requires squid ink. So, I need a lot of squid ink, and at the moment, I'm not getting any. Um, or at the moment, this is like all of this, hmm, hiccups. Uh, this is basically all the squid ink I have. So, I'm gonna go AFK here for a while, probably uh, do some editing or something, watch uh, Netflix, I don't know, I'll do something. Um, but I'm gonna go AFK for a while and get a bunch of squid ink, I'll be back in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back after a uh, relatively brief AFK session. I got about, uh, what would this be, 18 stacks, roughly, of uh, ink sacks. So, that should be enough to last us at least for a while. Um, I'll have to make some trips to the, uh, uh, the Ocean Monument as well as we run out of Prismarine and stuff like that, but it's, it's a good start, and now that I know that that, uh, Squid Farm is working, I can head back there whenever I need and, you know, AFK while I'm doing other things or multitasking or, or whatever. So, uh, what I want to do in today's episode, now that we've got the Squid Farm thing sorted out, is I want to do a bit more work on this kingdom over here. We've been grinding away at the manor up there, and I think I want to take a little bit of a break from that for the time being. Um, let's toss these ink sacks into there. There we go. Um, and I think I kind of just want to build, like, a couple more houses and stuff like that. We've got a, a lot of space here to fill. Tons and tons of space. Um, I also want to put a new Hall of Patrons in here somewhere. Um, tell you what, why don't we fly up and let's land on top of this tower. There we go. And let's turn clouds off so they don't get in our way. So let's think about this. Hall of Patrons, it's going to need to be fairly big. We could put it, like, right down here, in this sort of block. We're gonna have a road running there and there, and over here. This this I haven't done yet, because I, uh, the diorite... Well, actually, I should... I probably do have the diorite now, but, uh, I stopped working on the roads when I ran out of diorite at the time. I kind of like the idea of putting the Hall of Patrons right here. Just looking at it from up above. Or, as an alternative, it could possibly fill up, like, this entire space here. Let's just see. How much space are we actually working with right here? This is, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19? Roughly 19 blocks? that we would have uh, as for actual, like, building space, because obviously we don't want it, like, built into the wall or coming up, you know, right up against the road. We need to leave a, a little bit of a gap on either side. But 19, like, that's a pretty good size. And if it came all the way over here, I think that would probably work. But the Hall of Patrons is definitely going to be something that I need to, like, at least kind of sketch out in creative mode before we uh, get too crazy with it. Otherwise, it's just going to end up being a mess. Like, uh, so I think that's something that I'm going to have to kind of work on um, on my own a little bit. Um, but anyway, let's grab... Do I not have any dark oak? Really? Ah, there it is. I was going to say, I'm, I'm sure I have dark oak somewhere. Um, so let's grab some dark oak here, and let's just start kind of laying down the stuff for some more houses. Because uh, we're going to want a few. We'll probably want one, like, right in here somewhere. Uh, maybe, like, right here. We'll go... We need to make sure we have enough space. Yeah, this will be fine. So let's go, like, one... Like, maybe here... And then this one will kind of come up right here, I think. So we'll go like that. This will get swapped out like so. And then we'll go maybe... 
like this. Oh, uh, there we go. Maybe like that for a shape. That's a fairly simple shape and should kind of get the job done. And it will fill all of this space, you know, pretty nicely. So then we need to go up four high on all of these. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've actually built one of these houses. It's been, uh, I don't know, at least, I think at least a couple weeks because we've just been grinding away at the manor or the palace up there for so long that um, I've taken a break from building the houses. And we're not going to build every single one of these houses in this kingdom on camera because it will get very kind of samey, I guess you would say. Like, it'll get to a point where uh, I think you guys will get bored if I'm just basically building variations in the same house over and over and over and over again on camera. Like, every episode is another house. Uh, so I don't want that to happen. But I do want to kind of sort out some of the, the different things here. So um, let's see. We've got this part. This is all good. So now we need... I think at this point we need to do the stone brick. Um, and we need to do the stairs and stuff too. So let's grab some spruce stairs. And we'll go like, boop, boop, here, here. That one will go here. Because it's all going to be at this level. We can put all of these in. And I know that uh, not all of you like how many windows are in in these houses but to be honest like i think i i like it i think it's kind of a kind of a cool like defining architectural feature of uh the style that we're building in here so i like it a lot uh but anyway so that's all good let's get rid of the shulker box because it's just kind of in the way right now and then let's start grabbing some stone brick stuff here where are here we go let's just grab some of this we're gonna need more stone brick stairs and we might need uh let's make like half a stack worth of slabs that should be good okay so then we need to bring this bit out and up uh we also need that bit Ooh, that's gonna run into the wall is it Uh, okay. Well, no, it won't, because the wall is going to kind of... Well, let's see. Yeah, because the wall's going to uh, go straight this way for a while. Okay, so that's not a good option then. Um, Where is my bed, by the way? Is it actually still in here? Uh, This house? I do not see a bed. I also don't have my ender chest on me. Oh, dear. Okay, well, let's rush and get that real quick. I'm probably going to have to re... Uh, I'm going to have to move this house a bit. Uh, but that's okay. Like, eh, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's just sleep real quick. We're just going to have to redesign a little bit of the house. And that's okay. So let's think about this. We can't have this roof running into the wall. And it's going to go up high enough that it would. It, it'll, it'll definitely hit this. Uh, so let's kind of peel this back a bit. And I don't really want to make a house that's just a straight box. But that might be what we have to do. Uh, tell you what. Let's go here. So where could I bring this out to make it a little bit more interesting? Um, I can't bring this out a full block. We could scoot the entire house, but I don't really like the idea of that either. So I think in order for us to get an interesting roof shape, we're going to have to do something kind of like what we did here, where there's uh, different levels of roof. Or maybe, uh, maybe we can... Act yeah, 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 I have a better idea. So here's what we'll do. Rather than having this go up with peaks, right? Like the, the one next to it. Over here. Uh, we'll have 
a straighter roof, but then we'll put some dormers on it, I think. That'll look uh, fairly good. At least I think it will. So we'll do something like that. I need one spruce log to go there and there. Or spruce plank, I should say. Just so this house is not looking super weird. Okay. Uh, and then as far as our door, I think like right here is a, a fairly realistic spot for a door. So now we need a staircase so we can get up there. Just so I can get up to the roof and we can kind of plan this out. So um, we want to go one, two. And then probably like so here. Like so. Well, that's our center. So let's actually just bring it to like there, I think. Yeah. So like there and then here it'll kind of go over and like this. Is that? It ends up being the same height as this, but that's fine. I think that's okay. Um, so yeah, 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 this is good. All right, so one, two, one, two, one, flip it. And then same thing here. Come on, there we go. There and there, all right, good. So this is kind of our roof shape, right? But then what we ultimately need to do, well, before we can do the dormers, we probably need to get a decent amount of the prismarine in place, I think. Uh, I know I wanna have logs coming up like so, probably one here and here and then there and there I think that is going to be what we ultimately want and then we'll want let's see a stair here and here no 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 we'll want this one to go there I think for our windows because we'll want a window right uh let's just pillar up there we go we'll want a window here and here yeah yeah that'll be good okay so tell you what let me get the roof in place on this thing let me get uh, the rest of these little windows and stuff like that in as well i'll do a little bit of work on this and i'll be right back with you all right, guys, I am back. So I've got the uh, roof all in place. It's all good. So now what we need to do is add a couple of dormers to it. And that might actually be a little harder than you might think, because I'm not sure, like, how much space we have to work with here. I think they're going to have to be fairly small. So let's maybe punch out a spot there. That's what, three blocks in? So then we go one, two, three, and here, right? And then we'll take an extra block on either side. So we should have two three by three holes. Good. Then what I'm thinking is we probably want to use logs kind of coming up like this, right? And then I'm thinking like stone like this. That's going to look... Oh, man. I don't know about that, though. That might not look very good. I'm just trying to think. Well, we'll, we'll take a look at it once I get a little bit of this done. So let's just go, like, there. Uh, let's see. We need you to go here. That'll go there. And then... Uh, let's see. That one would come down like so. Up. 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 This would end up being... 
a stair like this, I think? Yeah, probably like that would be the best way to do it. And then this would ultimately come back like so. And would probably run into this portion of the roof here. So we go like that. And then here, this bit would just kind of come out, I think. So we'd have like a stair, a stair, and slabs. And then this, now that I'm looking at it, like this needs to be something else. Can't be stair there. Um... Maybe like a slab? Like this? That still does not look <laughs> all that good though. I have a feeling that this is gonna be one of those things where like, it's it's not gonna look all that great no matter how we do it. Just because it's such a small, well actually that doesn't look too bad. That's not terrible. That looks better than I thought it was going to. You know, obviously we got to get rid of this guy. Put that back. But that's that's not actually that bad. And then we'd have uh, some sort of window in here, probably something like this. Is what I'm thinking, and we'd put like a little window. Yeah, that's not bad. We take a look at it from a distance. It's still a, like, it's a little funky, but I think it'll work. I think that totally gets the job done. Um, let me sleep. Let me do the other side. Let me get all the glass panes in place, and then we'll take a look at it and see if it's what we ultimately want to stick with. All right, guys, I am back, and I think it's good. Like, honestly, I, I think it's good. I reworked a little bit of it. Uh, so I made... Uh, we can get rid of all these stone bricks here now. Um, I made the dormers sort of show the prismarine a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to have to get up there, even though I just tore that stone brick down, but whatever. Um, before, I had the stone brick at this level, and then this was uh, prismarine. I switched it. So now there's a little bit of prismarine, dark prismarine, same, you guys know what I mean. Uh, there's a little bit of this dark prismarine kind of peeking through the uh, the outline, the stone brick outline of the roof. And I think that's good. That, that kind of gives it the same feel as the rest of the building. I think it turned out really well. Um, and honestly, like, it's a, the whole building is just a box. Like, the whole thing is just one rectangle. But I think it still looks interesting. Uh, and it still kind of gets the job done. Um, and that's good. Like, it's a, it's another addition. It fills a little bit more space. Uh, obviously, there's no interior, but we can worry about interiors later if we feel so inclined. And I'm not even sure that we're going to. Um, those of you who have been watching me for quite some time know that uh, I don't really enjoy interiors that much. Like, they're okay. It, it can be fun sometimes, depending on the building. But, um, I don't know, like, I much more enjoy making outside portions of buildings, right? Making the facades and the way that it looks on the outside. I think that's a lot more fun. Um, so that's what I primarily focus on, but I don't know. Maybe I'll end up doing interiors on some of these, maybe not. We'll have to see. Either way, though, guys, I am almost out of time for this episode, so let me grab a comment of the day so we can get that done, and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I've got a comment all ready to go. And today's comment is from Simon Southey Davis, who says, Hey Wells, the world download link goes to your uh, Hermitcraft Season 5 texture pack rather than the world. So, um, I, I, last episode we did a world tour and a download and an updated world download. And like the idiot that I sometimes am, I completely messed up the link to the world download. Um, I did fix it relatively quickly, but if you uh, checked the world download uh, and it gave you 
a link to my Hermitcraft texture pack instead, uh, check it again. It's it's fixed now, um, and it's the same link that's in the description of this video, so you don't have to go back to the old video to get the right link. Um, but yeah, that was my bad, guys. I apologize. Thank you for letting me know. I did fix it as soon as I noticed. Uh, and as soon as I started getting comments about it, uh, once I woke up, <laughs> I woke up, I saw those comments. I was like, oh, really? Why? Why self? Why do you do this? But anyway, uh, the updated world download, the link is now fixed in case you tried to download it, uh, before and it didn't work. Uh, and it's the same world download, uh, that is in the description of this video and will be for the next 25 videos or so. So anyway... Guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.